We've had high pressure overhead today, and that meant dry conditions in mainly clear skies. We had a little bit of cloud cover up along I-80, even down into Butler, southern Butler County for a bit, and that's thanks to those winds coming off the lakes, but that has been allowed to actually dissipate as the winds backed off as high pressure is situated right overhead, and we lost some heat of the day, so those clouds were able to go. But as high pressure continues to scoot off to the east, that's going to actually pull in a little more moisture from the west, and that means increasing cloud clouds and increasing rain chances heading late tomorrow into Thursday. So the sunshine isn't sticking around too much longer, but I think you'll get a little bit more early tomorrow morning. And tomorrow is when spring begins at 558 PM is the official beginning of spring. That's going to come with additional clouds and additional temperatures. We're looking at numbers to start climbing upward as we go into tomorrow. Highs make it to the mid 50s there, even uh, some upper 50s around. Now, as we go into tomorrow morning, mainly clear skies around, you'll notice those clouds back to the west. They're likely going to stay there through the morning hours. And then as we get towards lunchtime, a better chance at seeing some of those clouds filling in. Then during the evening, those clouds take off. So this is 5 p.m., the last minutes of winter and those clouds come into play here. By the time we get into midnight, we could see a few spotty showers, but the better chances of rain are coming a little after midnight. However, a, a little shower might try to get ahead of the pack. So overall, I think your Wednesday is going to be mainly dry. Any chances of rain are going to be slim. And then as we get into Thursday, those rain chances go up. We'll see those scattered around and you can see even 5 p.m. Some light rain left over, but temperatures are going to be falling here. This is coming in with a cold front that'll drop temperatures. And by the time we get into Friday, that means we could see some snow showers trying to develop in a few spots. Now we're not looking at anything big here, but it is going to be spring and we are going to see some snow. But then again, another warm up happens as we go into the weekend and that comes with some sunshine too. But tomorrow's rain. The chances don't even start to show up until we get towards 8 p.m. And those chances are very slim, even into 9 p.m. So better chances for rain coming into play after midnight. Plan on a dry day tomorrow. And you can see here over the next 12 hours, we actually get just a couple passing clouds, but mainly clear skies. Temperatures are going to be cold, much like you woke up to this morning with temperatures in the 20s. Because of the clear skies and the calm winds, we're probably going to see some frost developing as well, so you might have to scrape some windshields early on. Temperatures find their way into the mid-40s for highs. So 56 with those increasing clouds in Pittsburgh around Allegheny County, a couple degrees warmer, closer to 60 degrees, especially as you cross the Mason-Dixon line down into Morgantown, heading in towards the ridges. You can see temperatures generally in the mid-50s. I don't think we have to worry about rain here. Up to the north could see a late, late shower. That's about the worst of it with temperatures in the mid 50s north of Pittsburgh. Now over the next several days, temperatures bobble around a lot. You get some 40s on Thursday and Friday, even Saturday, and then close to 60 on Sunday, and then temperatures start to fall from there. So a whole lot's going on in the forecast over the next several days, and it's real easy to sort out with the KDK weather app. It has an interactive radar, hour by hour forecasts, daily forecasts. It even sends alerts. If there's heavy rain nearby, it tells you. All you have to do is search for CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.